pouncing, 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 pouncing. So here's a tip for you guys at home. If you want to get a really strong grip, we can practice doing this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold on and as uh, I ask Rob to breathe in, I'm going to breathe in with him. And as he breathes out, I'm going to sigh out as well. But while I'm doing this, my grip keeps him increasing. Can you feel that, Rob? Mm. My, my, my grip is actually not loosening up. I'm, getting, I'm gripping deeper now. You can breathing. Mm. So the breath in, I'm gripping deeper as he breathes out. Mm. Yeah? Good. Squeezing, 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 and there we go. How's that feel, Rob? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so it's almost like I was just wringing out all that stuff that he'd been like storing up in his hands. <laughs> awesome. Holding on to the individual thumbs now, fingers. And a nice little massage of the muscles around the fingers, phalanges. There we go. Oh, you always tight there as well. Yeah, nice little adjustment there. And a nice one as well. <laughs> you find adjustments usually come after when the muscle's been relaxed, you know. It will, it will come naturally. I don't really force it. I'm not an osteopath or a chiropractor, I'm more of like a body worker in it. I do bone setting, but that's a different story. There we go. Breathing. That's it, nice deep, deep breaths. Less pain, it feels less tense now here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good, good. Bringing some deep moments here. Mm. That feels good. You guys, how often, if you work at a desk, how often do you bring your arm up like this? Do you know what I mean? It's so liberating. I mean, early on, I put my hand in here. I'm going to do a bit more. I'm going to encourage this bone. Just set a bit more here. Is that okay, Rob? Mm. Yeah? Just holding on to... Because right here, there's a bone here. There's a socket here. We're going to hold right at where the bones and the socket meets. And we're just going to just palpate on top. Is that okay? Yeah, it's tender, but... Yeah? Yeah. Good. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave my hand here. That's right, innit? That's bearable, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. We don't we don't do it in where it's like really painful. But you notice, Rob, this is like this pain's already here, isn't it? Mm. And all we're doing we're just kinda of just giving it some acknowledgement. And that's what it really needs, you know. So as I'm acknowledging it, placing my hands, putting a bit of pressure. You really help it because now here Rob's consciously breathing into it. He's breathing into this area. Good. It's gonna expand further. And the bone's gonna just nice and feel homey back in that socket again. <laughs> Good. Well done. Breathing in. That's in. Let that go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift Rob up. I'm going to help him further with his diaphragm. I'm going to open up, open up his ribs a bit more. But what I'm going to do is just give a nice effarage. Rocking the spine backwards and forwards. Before we do this as well, I want to now really help out with Rob's lumbar. So, knees up. So, nice shot of breath. And let go. Good. So as I lift Rob here at the moment, I feel that he's kind of like stuck in his position. But this is like, this is how you kind of sit down, isn't it? Mm. You notice now Rob at the moment, he's quite tight here. He's also tight his lumbar, 
But because his lumbar is tight, it's also put his internal organs in a state of stress. Yes, I, I mentioned it early on in the beginning that I've noticed that there's tension here in the stomach. So what we're going to do now, we're going to ask Rob to breathe in. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start massaging the stomach. Massaging the stomach. Right, it's stuck here at the moment as well. Just keep on breathing. So I put Robin in a position now where I feel like his body is also kind of like stuck. When we say stuck, it's forgotten to let go of. Yeah, so now we're just going to get him just to breathe. Same strength, courage, rocking the sacrum, loosen up the lumbar. In this position, how's that feel? Oh, great! Good, isn't it? So you can cycle breathe. a lot, so it's this helps. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can breathe in. Good. But uh, Rob, when you sit down, which which leg tends to go over? Um. Maybe the left, I can't really remember. Yeah, does this, does this tend to go over like that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay, good. So you can breathe in. And then let go. That's it. We're just going to hold here for a bit. I mean, I'm going to increase the tension in his arms. Good. Breathing in. Let go. Breathing in. Let go. Breathing in. Let go. Breathing in. Let go. It's very tense. Try it on the delete now. That's it. This is this is good. This is good for you. So we're going to give the glutes a, a stretch from this position, yes? Yeah? So when we let go of this, you can breathe in. There you go. You stay here for a couple of breaths, yeah? When we let go, you'll find that the glutes will be much more relaxed. Feeling better? Good. Yeah. That's it. Just keep breathing, conscious breaths. That's it again. So I've just given the, um, Rob's his spine a stretch, but but particularly the lower lumbar and this glute here, isn't it? Mm. So you keep breathing. Yeah, let that go. Right. So at the moment, his body wants it, the furthest that it goes is here. So we're just gonna hold it for a bit. So I'll ask you to breathe. There, and now it can go to here. Keep breathing. Go. It wants it can go here. That's it. Breathing. Good. Just 
got two. So here's the commit tender rub, okay? Mm. We're just gonna work in this area here now. So this glute here on this side here, you got if you check out Sean. Because you know we sit down for the whole day for long periods of time. So the glutes become very tired, they get compressed. So what are we doing here? We're sending bong. We're sending bong. How's that feel, Rob? Mm. Tender, isn't it? It's bearable though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You know it's tough love, yeah? <laughs> it's tough love, man. So I'm just sending some bong in here. That feels comfortable. Yeah. At the same time, we're also introducing this torsion that this right was Rob's left handed. We're increasing this, including introducing or reintroducing this torsion that his, you know, his body's kind of missing for ages. Bum, bum, bum in the hams. Is that okay? Yeah. Quite tender. Yeah. It's been pretty tough love, man. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's tender, but it's not like you no know, discomforting, is it? Like discomfort. Yeah, it's terrible, yeah. Yeah. Because if you just massage like this, you see how this is your surface, bro. Yeah. It's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna cut it. If this muscle tired, like this ain't gonna cut it. Yeah. So, but we're gonna get more deeper. So look, you see that it goes deeper, yeah. doesn't it? That's more deeper. Bong, 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 bong. So loosen this up, loosen it more, loosen it a bit. Okay. Right, right increasing the percussion, tempo. A bit, it's gonna rock. So you see, also notice here is tight as well, Rob. Mm. Yeah, My knee just below Rob's lot on his lumbar, just below there, holding on to this whole limb now, and I'm gonna help just move it around. Is that okay, Rob? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just gonna help with this mobility now. Good, well done. That's it, you just keep breathing like that. The more you breathe, the more better you. The open your hips. Go. So this, what I'm, I'm doing here for Rob, you guys, I really recommend that you do this for yourself at home as well. This kind of movement that we're doing here, especially sat down the whole day, yeah. Good, well done. Yeah, got my knee just below his lumbar here. Good. Can extend. Still got my knee below his lumbar and pull it. The opposite way. Is that okay? Mm. Nice stretch, isn't it? Yes, I've still got my knee underneath here. But then I'm going to work on this side. So 
you guys notice, like the reason why I like working on the floor is we ask Rob just to lie down whichever position he wants to be in. And then now, because we're on the floor, I'm able just to kind of help to unravel him, you know? Just working with what kind of energy is stuck at the moment, and we're just gonna go with the flow. And all we're doing is just unraveling them, really. <laughs> is that okay, Rob? Mm -hmm. He gets really tired here as well, so just sending Bong in. Let go. Yeah. Gonna add the other knee in now. Breathing in. Good. Let go. How's that feel? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so now I'm putting my knee right where his glutes are. I'm sending bongs again. Comfortably, it's comfortably. Sending bongs again. Because what we're doing here is that we're getting to relax the glutes. You feel the glutes getting yeah. relaxed, yeah? Yeah. Is that okay, Rob? I'm also making sure each time I do this, I'm gonna stretch out that neck as well. Was the reason why, another reason why is when we sat down at like this, like I said before, when we're not mindful of what we do, we tend to get a vulture neck. So each time I loosen something up, I make sure I stretch that neck, just to give it, you know, to, to relieve it more. Mm. That feels right, isn't it, Rob? Mm. Good, and then now, more assisted movements. And look how high up this knee can go now compared to them in the beginning. Yeah, I feel the difference. Oh. Yeah, I feel a lot looser, yeah. Much looser now. Good. Yeah. And once again, breathing in, just moving. That's good. And this here looks like yoga, like more like yoga. <laughs> good. Right, so I'm happy with that side. Bring him up. Okay, Rob. Yeah. So helping just to open the hips as well is really important. Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah. So I was just checking with Rob because he grimaced there to release the tension. But tough love. That's it. Breathing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got one hand just above. Um, oh, I've got one hand on Rob's shoulder here. Another hand on his head. And we're just giving him a stretch that he proper needs. This can bring him to that one side. Good. As if we can bring him to that. Check the fifth. Huh? Breathing in. That's it. About there, okay? Breathing in. And that 
bear, okay? Mm. Just for now. Mm. I want to be here for a little moment. So I could just place my, my knee just below up to glute here as I want to keep in this position for a bit. Just to allow him just to really savor this position. Because I can tell at the moment that his body is he can't, he's kind of forgotten this position. Let's just breathe. And it's all due to like the ribs, you know. Really getting the ribs to expand here. You hear some movement in the stomach now. His, his stomach's it's like good grumbling, you know. Ooh. And he's just relaxing. The abdominal area of his internal organs are now getting a nice little stretch as well. When we do these kind of movements here. Just taking our time, just really allowing Rob's body just to really save this movement, this position. That's why yoga is really important to you guys at home when we can practice yoga or any form of like moving meditation is really important. Allowing the body to savor this, this, this bit posture as well. Comfortable, sir? Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like he's doing yoga. <laughs> Literally. Right, I'm going to start to increase some bongas over here as well. For now, let's help from these movements. Yeah, notice now the knee goes a bit foot mm. high up now. Yeah? Mm. You're breathing in? Yeah, let that go. That's right. That is okay. So I've got to put my knee below his lumbar, okay? I'm just going to bong. Tough love, okay, Rob? You feel a bit mm. tense here, yeah? It's a bit tough love. Tendons here? No. Good. So you're losing the other side really well. Right, just right here, just like some rubbish for feeling tender here. These quads here are feeling good. His hands are good. Let's see the hands here. Is that okay, Will? Take a nice breath in. Good. Well done. So now we're just going to increase the arches with some of these movements. There we go. Straighten the bottom one. So now the spine's nice straight here. I've been wanting to do the opposite we did earlier on. It brings straightness up. I'm going to bend this back here. How's that feel? Mm. Yeah? It's got my knee just below its sacrum. Yeah? With the glutes are, and once again, with the bong in this position here, just opening up the hips, helping him to open the hips this way. Once I've done this limb here, I'm going to go back towards Rob's um, crown. I'm going to give him a spinal decompression. I then want to finish this off with a nice head and, and facial massage. A little, little bonus for you ASMR junkies out there. <laughs> so we just help to relax the, this limb a bit further. 
good. So yeah, just recap, placing both knees underneath the bottom glute. So just, you know, we're working on the sacral iliac here. We're gonna fully extend this limb and then I'm gonna bring it back towards you. Oof, and it's gonna open up the hip, but also give that sacral iliac a nice little stretch. How's that feel, Rob? Mm -hmm. Feels like, and looks pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah, open up the hip and that's it. Start bonging this area as well. But as we do this, all these movements here, that these things that we've been doing so far is really help, helping to relax Rob's internal organs here. All this stuff here is it's kind, of, kind of tense. And we tend to hold a lot of emotions here. Good. How's it feeling here? Good, yeah. So we relax this early on. Good, moving out. Yeah. I was waiting for that. I'm always watching the breath, man. Always. Always watching the breath. Good, breathing in, letting go. Good, breathing in, letting go. So now I've really freed up the neck. Huh? I've freed up the neck and the shoulders. Breathing in. Go. Right, Rob, can you visualize where your tailbone is? Yeah. Awesome. This is really important now, yeah? Can you can visualize where your tailbone is? Yeah. That's it. Keep watching the tailbone. Keep on watching that tailbone. Keep on watching that tailbone. Keep on watching it. Don't lose sight of it. Yeah, keep watching for that tailbone now. Don't lose sight. You can watch where that tailbone is. You can watch where that tailbone is. Don't lose sight. Don't lose sight of the tailbone. Right, so what I'm going to do here, probably nice wide angle for this shot. I'm going to hold underneath Rob's lumbar. I'm going to go into horse stance. Yes, right underneath Rob's lumbar. Got a little bit of horse starts. I'm going to stand up for the horse starts, gentle ones. And then we're moving out. Nice little rocking. Good. 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 How'd that feel, bro? <laughs> yeah, so you know what I've done there? I'm sh shaking his sacrum. His low lumbar. For ages, he's been holding it like really stiff. So now as he's breathing now, let's do it again. He, he gets a point. <laughs> yeah? Good. That's it, you can really. How'd that feel? <laughs> it was great, I'm telling you. Gosh. <laughs> so now, if you notice, Rob, your stomach now feels probably relaxed, isn't it? Yeah, it does, actually. Yeah, his stomach's really relaxed now. He's no longer su su subconsciously holding onto this area here. But you know, when you sit down, bro, mm. and you lean forward, 
the low lumbar is taking most of the brunt of it. Mm. In the beginning, you was like kind of like just getting on with it. But after a while, you kind of have to subconsciously hold on to this area for, mm. to allow you to do what you've been doing for all that time. So just then, with you breathing, and I was kept telling you to watch that tailbone, watch that tailbone, you can now see that you know, you've let go. Mm. Yeah, you're not, no longer holding here. Mm. Your stomach's nice and mm. relaxed now. Mm. So when the stomach's relaxed, that means when you eat now, all the food's gonna go, do mm. what you need to do. Mm. Right, I'm gonna do, give a spinal decompression here. Mm. But what I'm going to do, I'm gonna lift you up. You, just, you stay placid as possible, mm. yeah? Mm. Breathing in. Good. Good, breathing in. Good. Breathing in. That's it, let go. Let go, let go. There we go. So now I've got Rob's diaphragm opening up right here. I've got my foot underneath. Introducing this beautiful arch that is meant to be there. Give it an arch underneath you. Rob, can you feel the arch? Yeah, that's great. Right. Yeah, you should be breathing, eh? Allow your body to really savour this, this posture, this position. But now look, this diaphragm is proper. Good. I'm going to send these bongs in now. And you're going to feel your body like really expanding now. Good. Good. So you just let your head go. Imagine that it's just a ball. I'm just throwing the ball up and down. So I'm doing throwing the ball up and down. So what, what's happening here is I've got Rob's cranium. He's at this in my hand and I'm just throwing it up and down. And the more you do this now, with him just constantly breathing, he's going to realise, oh wait a minute, I don't need to hold on. Yeah, you see? Mm. Yeah? Right between his thoracic area and the cervical, and just moving his jiggling everything around. That's In deep. Good, let go. There we go. Good, again. Good. 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 So you can bring it up and spring in now. In and out. Spring out. Good. Right. Spring in. Let go. So now I'm putting my 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 feet just now below Rob's thoracic region, right here. My feet are like this right now below his thoracic, yeah? In between the scapula, uh, scapulas. Once again, just breathe into this man. Really save it there. Holding on now, lifting to hold the ribs up, increasing further the diaphragm. Good. 
coming onto the cranium again, just getting them just a little go further. So, throwing the ball up and down. What are you doing? Just throwing the ball up and down. Throwing the back of the neck here. Close now towards the cervical spine. Hold on to the traps and hold the neck. Giving his muscles a nice stretch now. Breathing in. Go, let it go.
much very much how you feel Rob? I feel fantastic well I hope you guys at home enjoyed that and you learnt something new and um, if you like what, you, what you've been watching please subscribe until the next time I'm the Avatar Namaste Chikai Home Meet You For All and thank you Sharmini for filming <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Charles. Thank you, Rob. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it must be hard work. <laughs> Filming that. <laughs>